Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Amy Kazar and I'm here to demonstrate an intermediate exercise video workout. Now, make sure that you have checked with your physician, making sure that it is okay for you to exercise and you know what your guidelines are for your vital signs. Also make sure that you have your equipment. So that being a sturdy chair, we won't use the chair too much um, for the strength training, but we will use it for balance and for the cool down. And then also a good amount of weights, whether that's gonna be soup cans or water bottles. Uh, you see some fruit there. Those are all options that you can use for your strength training workout. All right, well, should we begin? Well, let's go ahead. This intermediate exercise is gonna be mostly standing. You can certainly do it sitting as well, or you can do a mixture. So whatever you're comfortable with, okay? So let's go ahead and start out with our feet, hip width apart, hands at the sides. Take a deep breath in. I'm gonna ask you to bring those arms up all the way as far as you can, and exhale down. Let's do that one more time. Now you're standing nice and tall. You're holding your abdominals in, okay? One more time. Exhaling out through first steps, good. And let's go ahead and start with the neck. Exhale over your right shoulder. Inhale through center. Exhale over your left. And let's do that two more times. Focus on the stretch on the opposite side. Now hold it center. Let's do a similar thing, but bringing our chin to our chest. So exhaling, tucking your chin. Inhaling up and then gently looking up and again center and down and feel where it's tight All right as you go through the repetitions you might feel some lengthening and some improved range of motion last one And hold the center let's move on into the shoulders. So bring those shoulders up towards those ears good and glide those shoulder blades down gently now let's open up through the chest so that we can correct that posture. So I want you to make a big shoulder roll. Good job. Last one and relax. Go ahead and bring those arms out to the sides. We're gonna dig in a little bit more with those rotator cuff muscles. And this is where you have those thumbs turning down and then gently turning up and back. All right, range of motion always within your comfort. Don't forget that. Don't try to do what I'm doing. Do what you can do best. Hold those arms right there. Inhale and open. Exhale and close. Now inhale, open even bigger. Inhale, exhale. Now let's see if you can inhale bigger yet. Good job. That was round one. Let's do that again. T. Now make a Y. Exhale. Now an I. One more time to a T. Exhale. Y. Good job, and an eye, tall, 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 and bring those hands forward and relax them down. Nicely done. All right, so let's go ahead. I'm gonna ask you to go ahead and reach on up, and then I want you to pull down. So you're doing a little bit of a rotation, and then reach on up, and also a little bit of a bend at the knee. So here we go. There's two, reaching up, three, Reaching up, think about, about picking apples and putting them into a basket, all right? And that's, I think that was fine. All right, so let's go ahead and switch sides. Reaching up, tall, 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 exhale. Good. Two more. You're gonna do what feels comfortable for you. And reaching on up and relax. All right, so hopefully you feel warmed up. We're gonna go ahead and start with our strength training workout. So I want you to go ahead and grab weights that you're comfortable with. I'm gonna go ahead and use these water bottles. And I'm going to stand with my feet hip width apart for this first set. The second set, I'm gonna go ahead and have you challenge your balance with your feet together. And that's where the, the, we add a little bit of difficulty to this workout. So tall stance. Breath in, exhale as you start curling. Now we're gonna do two sets of 12 repetitions. All right, so we're building on muscle endurance. Good job. Nicely done. 
Good, tall posture, we're halfway there. Here's seven, good. Eight, nine, passing that 10, because we're building endurance. Last two, 11, and 12, and relax. Good work, all right. Feel free to move those legs around, step around. Bring your feet together or closer together, all right? They don't need to be touching, but here we go. Breath in, exhale, there's one. Good job, two. Now, as you're doing this exercise, you are working those biceps, but guess what? You're also working some stabilizer muscles. You probably can feel that in your glutes or down around your leg muscles. You might even feel those toes curling up in your shoes. And that's because you're trying to balance. Good job. 10, 11, and 12. Good work. Go ahead and change that, march that out a little bit, stepping it up. All right, so we're gonna do what's called upright rows. So this exercise is for the shoulders and back, upper back. I want you to bring your stance hip width or a little bit wider, all right? Your palms are gonna turn in, so they're facing your legs. Tall posture, breath in, and you're gonna bring those elbows on out. Now shoulders, no higher than the shoulders, can even be a little bit lower, and then you're gonna lower down. Here we go, breath in, exhale. There's one, there's two, keep on going, three, Oh, now think about what kind of activities do you do at home where you have to pull something up? Shopping bags? Yep. Laundry basket? We still have those chores to do at home, don't we? Good job. Keep on going. Here's 10. Last two. And 12. Excellent. All right. Hopefully you felt that in your shoulders. Go ahead and just kind of move those feet around. Uh, we're going to challenge that balance, so feet closer together or all the way together. Here we go. Breath in. Exhale. One. Good. Two. Remember those uh, stabilizer muscles that are in your legs all the way down to your feet. You should be feeling those again, as well as your shoulders and upper back. Good work. I think you're doing a great job out there. Nice. Two more, 11 and 12. Good work. All right, again, step it on out. Okay, so we're gonna do what's called a shoulder press. Now, some of you might have some shoulder issues, so if you do, if this movement reaching up over your head is bothersome, then I want you to go ahead and do what's called lateral raises. Okay, so I'll show you that. All right, that's the modification for the shoulder press. Okay, so first set, feet are wide. Breath in, exhale as you press up. One, good, two. Now think, you do have to reach up to put things away in the cupboard, right? So this is doing a shoulder press in your kitchen, in your bathroom, in your closet, or garage. All right, so very functional exercise here. Good base of support, good. And two more, 11 and 12. And you're probably thinking, holy cow, that really warmed up those shoulders. <laughs> and it does, it does. So if you need a longer break, go ahead and uh, rest a little bit longer. But if you can uh, follow along with me, let's challenge that balance again, okay? So feet are together or closer together, and we're going to do this again. Exhale, upward, one. Good. Keep on going. I want to show you a modification that you can do if doing both arms is too much. So you certainly can get creative, right? And alternate right arm, left arm. Good. Keep on going. There's seven, eight, nine. Remember, make it work for you. Two more. Last one. And relax. Good work. All right. So go ahead and make sure you grab a drink of water. You're sitting and resting when you need to. Remember, you can just do this just doing the first set, resting and recovering for the second set, and then you've done that whole workout, okay? 
So with the next exercise, we're going to start out with those feet wide again. And I want you to bring those arms out to this sidewards position. And what you're going to do is bring those elbows and weights together and then open back up again. So here we go. Inhale, exhale. One. Good. Two. So strengthening through. Obviously, the shoulders are doing a lot of stability work as well as movement, but also getting the chest muscles involved. Good job. Nice and tall posture. Abdominals in. Good control of your breathing. Good work. 11 and 12. Open up and then slowly lower those weights down. All right, again, between these exercises, just getting out of that static stance is good. Let's go ahead and challenge the balance again. So arms come out to the side, breath in, and exhale. One, good work. Two, a lot of static balance challenge in this workout, which is really important to help us build our strength and our balance so we don't fall. Good work, keep it on going. Nicely done. Smile if you can. I know this is getting hard. 10, here we go, 11 and 12. I don't know, smiling just eases the pain for me a little bit, okay. All right, next exercise is gonna be tricep kickbacks. And that might be something that you're familiar with. I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see the form a little bit better. But we are gonna start with that wide base of support. You're gonna bring your dumbbells so that they're up by your hips. Elbows are hiked back a little bit, okay? And then you're going to extend those arms back, almost as if you were gonna like pass a baton back to someone, okay? Or whatever. Here we go. So breath in, tall posture. Exhale, one. Good. Two. Three. Shoulders stay down and relax. Good job. Now, some people can also hinge from the hip as they do this, so it can look something like that. Um, I want you to do what's comfortable for you. Good job. Try to keep those shoulders down. They can creep up on this exercise. And 12. Good. Nicely done. Now, if that bothers your shoulder, then we'll, we'll want to go back to the chair dips that we did in exercise, the beginning exercise. So here we go. Second set, feet together. If you want to hinge on this one a little bit, elbows back. Exhale, one, two. Try to keep the neck in line with the rest of your spine. So looking forward a little bit, okay? Six, halfway there. Seven, eight, nine, 10. Finishing it off with two more. And 12. Good. All right. Good work, good work. Okay, we're done with our upper body exercises. So sit those weights out of your way. They're not going to be a tripping hazard, okay? Let's work on our legs. So we're going to go ahead and do what's called, um, actually, we're going to take it back a step. We're going to work on our core. So I'm going to turn my chair around. And we're going to do what are called recline sit-ups, okay? So with this one, start with your hips and your back all the way in the chair, and then arms on the armrest, and now you get to push those hips forward as if you were gonna take a nap, but you're not, okay? So tall posture, hands can be across the chest, or you can use the arms to help assist yourself up. I'm gonna demonstrate both. Breath in, exhale, and up. Notice that the arms get to help these abs a lot, okay? So especially if you're weak there. Otherwise, hands across the chest. Here we go. Exhale, up. Good. There's two. Three. The whole time, you're maintaining a tall posture, and you're only coming to sitting up tall. No crunching forward. You want to protect the spine, protect the vertebrae. Good job. There we go. 11. And last one, 12. 
Whew, that might have been a little bit harder than you thought, huh? That's okay. Um, we got to start somewhere. Let's go ahead and do our sit to stand. So I'm going to turn my chair back to the front and we're going to do sit to stands. You can use the arms to press yourself up, but really the goal here is to not use the arms. So in order to do that, I want you to sit back probably about mid part of your chair. Hands are going to be across your chest. The movement starts like this. You're going to hinge forward so your nose is coming towards your toes. And you're going to drive up with your hips. I didn't get mine in position very well there. And then slowly sit back on down. So you can see where you can um, have some faulty moves. So let's try that again. Breath in. Exhale. Here's one. Reaching back to the chair as you come back down. Here's two. Good. Here's three, four, five. Looking straight ahead so your movement, momentum goes straight up. Good. Nicely done. We're almost there. Four more. Now you're going to really feel this making you short of breath. Okay. Big muscles here, big demand for your oxygen or your motion. One more. Here we go. Here's 12. And relax. Woo. Okay, take a, a good rest with that one. Catch your breath. You might notice that it's going to take a while. Even though you've stopped the movement, uh, those muscles are still calling for that oxygen, right? And your lungs are restricting a little bit of that, so just stick with this recovery position, catching your breath, okay? So while you're doing that, I want to explain what we're going to do next. We're going to go into our balance, okay? So with our balance exercises, we're going to go back, and if you did the beginning video, some of these will look familiar. I'm going to turn my chair around. Remember, you can still be sitting and relaxing while I'm going through the movement. So we are going to do the toe heel again, because that is so important with your natural walking normally, and clearing that toe as you walk. But then we're going to work on some weight shifting, okay? Like if you're going to move out of traffic, all right, or move out of position or have to change direction quickly. So let's go ahead and stand behind your chair. Remember, hold on both hands. As you get stronger, better balance, more confidence, three fingers, two fingers, one finger, none, okay? So here we go. I'm going to hold on. Hip width stance, tall posture, and you can go up. We're going to do one set of 12. There's two. Walking back. Three. Good job. Four. Five. Good. Six. Seven. Eight. Check your form. Sometimes I catch myself kind of just slumping into the position. And I gotta just straighten myself back up. Here we go. 11, 12. That's only normal. We just kind of default to that position. All right. So let's go ahead and move into some dynamic balance exercises. That was already one, but we'll do a few more. We're gonna do some weight shifting. So you're gonna lunge out to the side. I'm just demoing to each side, all right? It's not a big lunge, it's just enough to activate those stability muscles and to strengthen those hips. So here we go, breath in, and lunge out to the side, come back, and let's switch sides. We'll do a set of 12. There's two, 12 on each leg, that is. There's three. Good job. Four. Nice. Five. Now if your legs are getting fatigued because those sit to stands were challenging, you can cut this down and do the repetitions that you're comfortable doing, okay? Remember, you're listening to your body, making sure you're always safe. Good. Still nice and tall. There's 10. All right, we've got two more on each leg. Last one. You're almost there. 
Good job. Excellent work, excellent work. You might even feel like those muscles have really worked well for you, and they have. All right, reverse tap or reverse lunge. So we did the toe tap in the beginning video, but this time uh, I want you to actually lunge back. So you're actually stepping back, all right? So here we go. But your modification is just to toe tap. Breath in, here we go. Lunging back or stepping back. Good. Right, this one can be challenging because we're not used to reverse, right? But we need to strengthen our posterior chain or our backside. And this easy exercise or simple exercise um, is very effective. Good job. There we go. We're almost there. Tall posture, breathing. Remember, you stop at any point in time. That's 10. We've got two more on each leg. Here's 11. And here's 12. One more. Don't forget that last leg there. Good. And relax. Excellent job. All right, two more balance exercises I'd like for us to squeeze in this workout, and that's the side leg lift. And I'm going to turn my chair so I can face you, and you can actually see the movement better. So this one is you're going to lift the leg out to the side. Try, you're not trying to see how high you can lift your leg, I just want you to lift and lower, lift and lower, trying to keep your hips square and your hips level, all right? Hanging on to the chair, breath in, so we're starting out, here we go. You're gonna lift and lower, lift and lower. Small, small movement, but you're gonna feel it work right into those hip muscles, okay? Good job. You're also gonna feel a lot of demand from that supporting leg. 11 and 12, and relax. All right. March that one out a little bit because that leg is going to have to support the other exercise moves. So here we go, starting out with that leg tapped out to the side, breath in, exhale, lift and lower, lift and lower. Now I found myself kind of slouching and I had to pull myself up. So check your posture, make sure you're still standing tall. You always want to have correct form with these exercises to make them the most effective for you. Here's 11 and 12. That went by quick. All right, march that one out. Okay, so we're gonna close this balance part out with just doing a static uh, balance challenge, which you're probably um, thankful for, right? Because those other exercises are challenging. So with this one, you're hanging onto your chair, toe or heel in front of the toe, all right? And you're just gonna hold this stance. You're hanging on with both hands, or three fingers, two fingers, so go ahead. We're gonna hold this for 20 seconds. And with this one, we'll actually do 20 seconds with this leg being the main supporting leg, and then we're gonna switch with the other leg being the main supporting leg. Four, three, two, one. Good work. All right, and let's switch, set it up. Heel in front of that toe, and there we go. Now, when you're holding on with both hands on this one, it's just like, hmm, what's going on here, right? Well, when you start to lessen that hold, you're gonna start feeling those stabilizer muscles kicking in, and your toes grabbing into the shoe or the floor, okay? Hang on, good job, excellent job. So that's just a good way to strengthen those stabilizer muscles so we don't fall. All right, let's do our stretches. We're almost done, we're on the home stretch. Go ahead and step back with the calf stretch. Remember to do this stretch effectively. You want your toes facing straight ahead. So if you have a natural tendency to turn out, try to position those toes straight ahead, okay? And hold that heel into the ground and breathe. Good. 10 more seconds. We're holding each stretch for 20 seconds. 
you can hold it longer, but for the sakes of this video, we're just doing 20. Good job, and switch. All right, pressing that heel down, lunging forward. Good, and holding this calf stretch. Remember in the beginning video, I said you could play around with this stretch, meaning that you can bend that knee a little bit and you feel that stretch move on down lower in the calf region. Do what you feel comfortable doing, okay? Good. All right. Hip flexor stretch. Those hip flexors are tight. So we're going to set it up the same way you did that calf stretch, but rather than everything at a diagonal forward, you're going to bring your shoulders over your hips. This is a very gentle, effective hip flexor stretch. Works on our balance as well. So nice, tall posture. Breathe through the movement or breathe through the whole the stretching. Good job. All right, almost done. And let's switch sides. Stepping back, setting it up the same way. And again, align the shoulders over the hips. And breathe in and out. Check your posture. How's your body feeling? You did a hard workout just now. So hopefully it feels good, but yet that you worked it out. Okay. Good job. And relax. Okay, quadricep stretch. This is um, one where you definitely want to be hanging on to the chair. You can reach back, kicking your heel up towards your glute. Grab that ankle. Or you can grab your pant leg, whatever works for you, or your shoe. But always be holding on to the chair. This one is definitely challenging. So you'll feel the stretch through the front of the thigh, quadricep muscle, even your hip flexors. Good, and switch. So on that beginning video, I got really brave and did it with no hands, but I'm going to Support myself on this one. There we go. Good job. So your quadriceps get a lot of work, especially during those sit to stands, didn't they? Good. You want to stretch those out. There's three, two, and one. Good. Almost done. We're going to have a seat. So sit down in your chair. Go ahead and sit a little bit forward in that chair. Extend one leg forward, toes up to the ceiling. These hands on the bent leg to support your low back as you hinge forward into a hamstring and low back stretch. You're going to be saying, well, I also feel this in my calves. You will. You might feel it throughout that whole posterior chain, all the way from your heel to your low back. Okay. So if you need to back off a little bit, then you back off. Listen to your body. Good. And release. Other side. Okay, set it up the same way. Leg is straight, toes are up, tall posture, hinging from the hips, supporting the low back with the hands, the mid part of your thigh, not on your kneecap. And breathe in and exhale, relax. This is part of our relaxation. Okay. Three, two, one. Good. And relax. All right. Give yourself a big hand, a pat on the back, some applause. Excellent job. Make sure you stay hydrated and then we'll see you at your next workout.